eccentricity index is a measure used to differentiate between right ventricular pressure overload and volume overload. We know that when right ventricle enlarges, it compresses the interventricular septum towards the left ventricle. So this changes the short axis view of the left ventricle and dimensions of the left ventricle in short axis are taken to measure the eccentricity index which will help you to differentiate between right ventricular pressure overload and volume overload. This is the diagrammatic representation of the left ventricle and the right ventricle in short axis view. One measurement D2 is taken parallel to the interventricular septum and D1 is taken perpendicular to the interventricular septum. And the ratio eccentricity index is D2 divided by D1. In a normal person, it will be almost equal to 1. And when there is right ventricular volume overload, septum gets compressed in diastole. So the ratio will be abnormal in diastole. While in systole, because of the higher left ventricular pressure, the shape will be circular itself. So the ratio will not be abnormal in systole in diastolic overload like uh, atrial septal defect when the right ventricle is having diastolic overload. When there is systolic overload, the difference is there in systole and diastole. Because of the high pressure in the right ventricle, the septum is pushed towards the left ventricle both in systole and diastole. Severe right ventricular hypertension, especially in pulmonary hypertension or in severe pulmonary stenosis, the septum gets displaced so that instead of this circular cavity, it will become almost like a D-shaped left ventricular cavity. So this difference is quantitated by measuring the eccentricity index. This is an echocardiogram in the parasternal short axis view in severe right ventricular hypertrophy due to pressure overload. You can see that interventricular septum is flat and left ventricular cavity is D-shaped. So this will have an abnormal eccentricity index. You can also see that the gross hypertrophy of the right ventricle and the papillary muscles are also hypertrophied. So this is a typical case of right ventricular pressure overload in severe pulmonary hypertension with D-shaped left ventricular cavity. So D2 will be this, D1 will be perpendicular. So D2 by D1 will be more than 1.